the people's poet, Ilyes Gula. Gula Ilyes, a name synonymous with Hungarian literature, is a figure whose legacy continues to inspire. Rising from humble beginnings, he became one of the nation's most celebrated poets, a voice that echoed the spirit of Hungary. Born in 1902, his childhood in rural Hungary left an indelible mark on his soul, shaping his worldview and his art. This upbringing, steeped in the lives of farmers and laborers, would later resonate powerfully in his writing, providing a rich tapestry of experiences to draw from. Ilyas's words painted vivid pictures of rural life, capturing the joys and struggles of everyday Hungarians with a rare authenticity. His poems were infused with a deep empathy for the common man, earning him the title of People's Poet, a testament to his connection with the people. He championed social justice, his verses often serving as a voice for the voiceless, advocating for the rights and dignity of the marginalized. Beyond poetry, Ilyes penned plays, novels and essays, each work bearing the hallmark of his insightful observations and lyrical prose, reflecting his deep understanding of human nature. His impact on Hungarian literature was undeniable, shaping the literary landscape and inspiring generations of writers to come. His legacy lives on, a beacon for those who seek to understand the human condition through the lens of Hungarian culture and history. A muse emerges, Kosmutza Flora. Kosmutza Flora, a woman of captivating beauty and intellect, entered the literary scene as a muse to some of Hungary's greatest minds. Born into an aristocratic family, Flora possessed a natural elegance and charm that drew people to her. Her path first crossed with literary circles through her acquaintance with Joseph Attila, one of Hungary's most renowned poets. Though their connection was brief, it hinted at Flora's future role as a source of inspiration for literary figures. Later, Flora's life intertwined with Gyula Ilyes, a meeting that would forever alter the course of their lives. She became his muse, her presence igniting a passion within him that would find expression in his most heartfelt works. A friendship forged in verse, Sabo Lurintz. Sabo Lurintz, a prominent figure in Hungarian poetry, shared not only a passion for literature with Ilyes Jula, but also a deep and abiding friendship. Bound by their shared artistic spirit, they found solace and inspiration in each other's company. Lurintz, known for his introspective and confessional style, explored themes of love, longing, and the human condition in his poetry. His words resonated with a generation grappling with the complexities of life in a rapidly changing world. The friendship between Lurintz and Ilyas was one built on mutual respect, admiration, and a shared understanding of the creative process. They challenged and encouraged each other, their bond strengthening over years of shared experiences and literary endeavors. Section 4. The Spark Ignites. The Meeting of Hearts. In the heart of Budapest, amidst the bustling cafes and literary salons, fate orchestrated a meeting that would entangle the lives of Ilyes, Flora and Lurintz. The year was 1932, a time of social and political upheaval in Hungary. Ilyes, already a rising star in the literary firmament, found himself drawn to Flora's enigmatic charm. Her intelligence and vivacity sparked a flame within him, igniting a passion that would consume him for years to come. Lurink, a close confidant of Ilyes, also felt the allure of Flora's presence. The three began to spend increasing amounts of time together their conversations filled with intellectual sparring and shared dreams. Section 5. A Secret Pact 
love in the shadow of convention. As the bond between Iliace and Flora deepened, so too did their feelings for one another. Their love blossomed in the quiet corners of Budapest, where the whispers of the past seemed to echo their own secret desires. Their connection, however, was complicated by the conventions of the time. Society's rigid expectations and moral codes loomed over them, casting a long shadow on their burgeoning romance. Flora was a married woman, her relationship with Ilyes deemed socially unacceptable. The societal norms of the Victorian era were unforgiving, and any deviation from the expected path was met with harsh judgment. To protect their love from the prying eyes of society, they embarked on a clandestine affair. Secret rendezvous, hidden letters, and stolen moments became their only solace. Each meeting was a delicate dance, a careful balance between passion and discretion. Stolen moments became the hallmarks of their relationship. The thrill of these secret encounters added a layer of excitement, but also a constant undercurrent of fear. Every glance, every touch had to be concealed from the world. The thrill of forbidden love, while intoxicating, also cast a shadow of fear and uncertainty over their happiness. The constant threat of discovery loomed large, making every moment together both precious and perilous. Lawrence, privy to their secret, found himself torn between his loyalty to his friend and his own burgeoning feelings for Flora. His internal struggle added another layer of complexity to the already fraught situation. The love triangle, veiled in secrecy, became a tangled web of emotions threatening to unravel the very fabric of their friendships. The delicate balance of their relationships teetered on the edge, with each passing day bringing new challenges and deeper entanglements. Section 6. Whispers in the Wind. The Weight of Unspoken Words. The weight of their secret began to take its toll on Ilias, Flora, and Lurin. Each day, the burden grew heavier, pressing down on their hearts and minds. The constant fear of discovery, the strain of living a double life, cast a pall over their interactions. Every glance, every whispered word, carried the risk of exposure. Ilias, torn between his love for Flora and his conscience, poured his anguish and longing into his writing. His quill became an outlet for the emotions he could not express openly. His poems, often veiled in metaphor and symbolism, hinted at the turmoil raging within his soul. Each line was a cry for understanding, a plea for solace. Flora, caught between her love for Ilias and her societal obligations, found herself increasingly isolated. The walls of her world seemed to close in, suffocating her spirit. The pressure of maintaining her facade of respectability while nurturing a forbidden love became an unbearable burden. She felt trapped in a web of expectations and desires. Lurintz, unable to act on his own feelings for Flora, watched as his friend and muse were consumed by their clandestine affair. His heart ached with unspoken words and unfulfilled dreams. His poems from this period reflect a sense of longing, jealousy and resignation. Each verse was a testament to the silent suffering that defined their lives, a chronicle of love and loss. 